Okay, boom, viewers, welcome back to the channel. Subscribers, you already know how we do. We're blessed. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. But you know my style. One bag of bag and the one I got to continue giving you daily updates on the people you see and don't see on the screen. That's why it's extremely important to watch to the end so you don't miss a thing. And with that being said, let's just, just kick it off with RT Boss um, defending Erica Mena and Spice. Yes, you heard correctly. You see me as uh, a lot of people is upset. Um, not at the women particularly, but of the production team that put this out. You see me as I So before we get to RT Boss, um, what he has to say about the situation, let's take a listen to this. I really wasn't going to speak on this to begin with because as a lighter complexed African American woman, there's some things that's just not my plight and I just will not understand. But some things I do understand. And I understand very much so how Spice was left unprotected and how these pop production works. Let's get into that. What Erica said and what Erica did was completely unacceptable, was disgusting. All right? Period. Period. But my question is this why did it take for us, the public, to be outraged for them to actually act on this? This was filmed months ago, like I said, right? So why didn't y'all act on it then? Why did y'all leave Spice so unprotected? Why did y'all. It's, it's fine when it's a storyline, but when people get upset, then it's, oh, someone has to be punished. Yeah, y'all gonna be punished. How about this? I'm not watching the show no more, and you shouldn't either, because it's what y'all think about this. No, I said this on my other channel. All of this is fake. You know what I mean? This is a way for Erica Maynard to leave Love and Hip Hop to continue her successful Tubi movie career. You know what I mean? All of this is scripted. It was aired before it was on air. You know what I mean? We know the Blue Monkey talk, the devil. So I don't know why them put it out and we didn't know say, things did are going on. But they needed the views, they needed the, um, the hype because, you know, this show was sold to another um, TV show, you know what I mean? So they all capitalized off it. The white man capitalized off of racism and Mona Scott got more money. Everybody, you see me? So it's all fake. But nevertheless, um, let's see what RT Boss is saying. He said, Erica should not get fired. Both sides was wrong. Justice on both sides. It's him, and those are his thoughts. And like I said, people, in my opinion, this was all a script for a way for Erica to leave the show. You know what I mean? Um, this show wasn't live. It's pre-recorded, so them knows them should not put it out there. But like I said, they wanted a reaction. They wanted a buzz. They wanted the views. And they wanted everybody to be talking about it. You know what I mean? Ah, uh, boy, put in the comment section what you think about that. Oh, before we jump off the topic, I forgot to um, comment on Tasha K. You know, reacting to uh, you know Mona Scott. I'm saying handled. You feel me? <laughs> boy, oh boy, and she's throwing some shots at you know who Cardi B at the same time because she said, "Cause we been tired of Spanish ladies calling us monkeys and roaches." And Simela said, "At Mona Scott, <laughs> you know what I mean? Putting out a comment section." With Spanish lady out here calling people monkeys and roaches. And I mean, let's proceed to the next. Because, because Spice do a little interview, you know, upon the topic Blue Monkey. And she said, you know what, she's not even phased by it. You feel me? I like that. Because yeah. Spice, if somebody flipped the table at me and called <laughs> me a monkey. Oh, wow. I'd be, you know, taking off my earrings, ready to tussle a little bit. And I, I kind of. Well, I mean, I feel like that comes with. Um, well, I know what I signed up for, yeah. so I'm good, you know? Yeah. I'm in a better space right now. So, reality TV, is it It comes worth... with it. You know what it, it, you know what franchise it about, so it's okay for me. But it's worth your peace of mind? I have my peace of mind. You Nobody do. takes my peace of mind away from me. Mm -hmm. Because someone's opinion of me does not value who I am, and does not, not because someone thinks something of me, that doesn't mean that's who I am. I'm the person that came up with colorism a few years ago. I'm black and beautiful. I'm now bleach, proud, I'm a color. I've been done it, said it all. Always reminding my melanated woman how beautiful they are, to love themselves, who they are. Like someone can't come and say a few words, and that's going to get me into a. And you know, I totally agree with her because it's all fake. <laughs> you see what I say? We're not big up on yourself, you know what I mean? Anyway, people, let's proceed to the next. Now, ever since Queen Africa come out and let the world know that her father, Derek Martin, allegedly touched her in another unthinkable way, um, you know, a lot of people has been coming vocal out there. Some of them is on her side and some is not. You see what I say? I came across this video of this lady, you know, discussing the topics and all of these things. And remember, people, I am just a messenger. So let's listen to what she has to say pertaining Queen Africa, and then we'll proceed. 
I think this is the third message again I have for you. This is the third time I'm talking to you. And I am not going to be screaming at Tony like you because I'm OCD. So when we stick to one thing, I stand until the task is over. That's what I do. I don't know how you find time to just like everything. You know, you were riding every wheel though. You were like touch everybody, everything come out, everything knock you did it. And when music started, dance. Every region fall, you wait up in it. Yeah, you were on it before sometimes somebody bloggers them on it. As if you had nothing to do. Queen Africa, you got everybody yard, you know? Yeah, man. Queen Africa, you got everybody yard. You eat at everybody yard. You eat at every table. Everybody would have make manish water. They would make caramel porridge. If they would drink, make banana porridge. If they would roast breadfruit and chicken back and dumpling. You did your eat, man. Queen Africa, you make rounds, you know? You make the rounds, you know, Queen Africa? Oh, God, man. You did it all over the place. You go on with yourself, you know, Queen Africa, in a short space of time with you, you know, girl. Queen Africa, you go on with yourself, man. Only to find out. So there was an elephant in the room. There was an elephant in the room. Queen Africa, can you imagine? Queen Africa, come here. Queen Africa, come here, I talk to you. Two seconds, I talk to you for. Queen Africa, can you imagine if you had just used. If you had just talk, just stay on message. Just stay on message. If you just a second, stay on message. Right? On domestic abuse. That alone. Is, is 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 something that you could you could you could stay on and get and, and and really reach the masses right okay fine so we have Malcolm X we have Martin Luther King we have the great foot of hype over this I beat that already you might do that already my in my in my angle it that over this already make him go on do that that man is focused he's focused on what he's focused on he never need you for come over there so come do that you know my girl he never need you for do it you have your own topic Queen Africa, your topic was 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 domestic abuse, and I could have stayed on that. And right now, domestic abuse, you could have, you could have tell why some women settle in domestic abuse because of what they go through, childhood trauma, propel them into other stuff, and they this big tree grow, and then before you know it, the, the trunk of the tree was so big and thick that they settle. You could tell from, from, from a kid growing up what you see your mother suffer, other people suffer to the point where they end up going through what you went through. Yes, put in the comment section if you agree with what the Empress was saying. You see, my semi people, let's proceed to the next. Okay, people, Vibes Cartel is coming under heavy fire because of mystical body plugs. Yes, you heard correctly. Um, you know, mystical is doing what she do. Um, you know, the thirst trap business is similar, sir. But you have some guys and nation members that's not too pleased with our freaky lifestyle. You see, man, sir. Now, I'm not gonna read at all what she said, um, in her IG story. And I can press pause and read it for myself. I'm just a messenger, you see, me. But basically, she's saying, Oh, now, guys, a president, now, manager. You see, man, sir. And if Cartel is not having an issue with her, you know, bottom plugs and all of these stuff, you neither should you. You know what I mean? Because a freaky girl, them love it, man. <laughs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. But these are some of the comments um, she was responding to. Because obviously, she, when she says she not need no approval from no boy, no girl that can't hold them grown, it's not cartel she's talking. She's talking about this guy um, in her comment section. You know, saying that guys that don't represent certain things. And you know what I mean? Yeah, move loop. You know what I mean? But like, unless, like I said, this is Vibes Cartel. Um, guys are pouring dollar, you feel me? So I need to slow her and let her do what she do until the boss, you know what I mean, drop the law, you see me? Uh, because then I wanted the screenshots, me telling for press pause and read the screen. She's trying to educate on that. Not everybody that have bottom plugs, um, is into, you know, the wrong bang, like, you know. <laughs> but it's just for pictures, because I guess some people find it cute. I don't know people, but that's like giving that update. Well, go on for that to go on, put in the comment section. What do you think about that? Do you think Vibes Cartel should address mystical you know what i mean honestly i never say i put nothing up our bottom yet you know what i mean so it is what it is my people but from one guy as a member to the next um let's continue with the review 
Yes, big up popcorn because I only him and footer hype me say post up. Um, you know, medic, you know, that is missing, you know what I mean? Since 10 days, 11 days now, you see me saying it's not a good look for the dancer fraternity to have one of your co workers missing and nobody is posting her, you know what I mean? So, I don't know if them know something the public knows, don't know. Is this another Carly Russell, Carly, uh, next foolishness, you know what I mean? But nevertheless, Popcorn, I'm post up. The situation in I'm story, you see me, I say, as well as he's letting everybody know, say, I have 50,000 US, roughly $8 million in spend, upon a back to school treat by himself without no sponsor or help, you see me, I say, and he's planning on spending more money next year, you see me, so people don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop the latest in a dance on news, musical reviews, and gossips. Bless.